Hi, David Erdos with Poem 77 from David's Covid slash 2020 vision. I'm sure many people will use this title, but it's the only one. Comings and goings. Would Hitler have dumped Ava Braun? He needed her slavish concession. The analogy in the UK is that Hitler isn't even the one who's PM. No, our bloated blonde Ava backgrounds by constructing a 3D photocopy of presence while his slick shadow is sliming and staining our day for their ends, which seem to seek all of ours after his too long career of disruption. His former Brexit enticements and lie-laced legacy still affront. What is your real agenda, you word, that should not be used in polite company or too freely, but which is all we have to explode you as the merest thought or glimpse of you fires my screaming need to be blunt, which is the sort of object you need to bludgeon the darkness that's in you. As the idiot strings you are strumming create the stark discord and souring song hate can shape. As pretty moronic Patel vinegars her tasteless word salad and her stupidity and brutishness makes me bridle when I see that unknowing little smile on her face. Glamorised in a film for which recently playwright sought forgiveness, this fucking spectre in a hoodie in defiant disarray is the threat. His viciousness is compared to Rod Hull's violent emu, as demands are delivered to Boris to see him quartered or drawn at the neck, which is what all should do if they had the bull bastard before them. In some former England, stocked and bound in the soft village square, where the former transgressors were tried for the damages wrought on the people, which could include his breathless Babylon health wheeze with Hancock, whose murky connection and endorsements would make the dead Tony and Sid spark and swear. Cummings advised this AI initiative implemented, as Matt Hancock soon bubbled his own misaligned, foaming joy. There is more to write on all this. Cummings' crimes now stack up with the rotten fruit I'd cast at him, fruit whose own acids would no doubt repel at the contact with this particular form of bad boy. If his mother adores him, good luck. But how can you explain such a person? For this supposed County Durham world-bound non-sheriff has no right to the law and no love. For he does not serve us. He serves only the smeared seat of power. We are merely the effects he engenders when he deigns to make his move on the board in blue gloves. Apparently, someone so connected and prized could not even trust private nurses to care for his son, so he travels nearly 300 miles through roadblocks. My rage at him knows no bounds, and neither does he. Breaking lockdown, a phrase he will have coined on his whiteboard, along with take black control as hopes drop. For it is a form of dark incantation, he writes, in which we aren't even the images that he conjures. Instead, we are the misused punctuation. As his ideas soar, we are stopped. We are the pawns that bore him as he starts to move the chess pieces. In the Quranic game, he's the watchman who truly believes he's a god. Dr Westminster, perhaps, so he flouts his own rules as Andrew Mar Mars Grant naps thin excuses. And unpretty Patel smirks and produces her pathetic attempts to show plot. For this isn't even about parties now. This is about individuals. All of us as we suffer and as we worry and die on all lines, and then all of them who deserve no position at all whether it is the orange cancer of Donald testing positive towards the negative, prick, or BJ. Or worst of all, this small C, who nobody chose, only Johnson, Yvonne Stroheim to his Dietrich, and unmasked anti Morcom to his warped unwise, as jokes fray. This duo produced no care and no charm. Dominic is just slogans. Our bite macht fry, I imagine, or perhaps exit is the only real one that he needs. His tight little bulb of a face is, as far as I can see, ripe for puncture. So lie and leave, Cummings. But wherever you go in the future, know that we see your damage and hope that your wretched soul starts to bleed. For the misinformation you serve and the lack of clarity may curse find you. For your disregard and abandon, may you one day truly need 
I hope then we can all piss on your path, as Elvis Costello wished to tramp the dirt down over Thatcher. I hope a barren land claims you, as no earth in which you will lay will lease seed. Damn you, your blank stare, and the puppets you push through the motions. Wood words were fire, I'd see your strings slack and burn, as we are rationed either through food or future. Know this, you bastard. While you pick and choose, our rage feeds. David Erdos, May the 25th, 2020.